Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Have you ever been in a relationship where you felt like you had to be the initiator? You had to be the one to make the first phone call or the first text. You had to be the one to make the plans. You had to be the one to get things rolling. Relationships are hard work. And when it seems like you're the one that's always having to start that uh, ball moving, it can get tiring. It can get frustrating. It can even make you want to just quit. Have you ever felt that way in your relationship with God? Does it feel like you need to initiate that relationship? You have to be the one to ask God to show you what this portion of Scripture means that you're reading. You need to ask God to get involved in your life or to help someone. It always seems like you're pushing God to do something. You're asking, initiating God to get involved. I think many of us have felt that way. And like earthly relationships, sometimes it just seems tiring and maybe we just feel like giving up. Well, John points us back to our foundation, Jesus Christ. Our reading for today is from 1 John chapter 4. Love consists in this, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. John defines love as God loving his creation without the creation loving him back. Love is God loving this world so much that he sent his one and only son to be that atoning sacrifice for sin. While we were still sinners, enemies of God, and uh, unable and unwilling to accept any of the things of God, God loved us anyway, and he gave us the greatest sacrifice by sending his only begotten son, Jesus, to pay for our sins, including our sins of not responding to his loving initiation, not responding to his grace, and certainly not being the initiators of love to the people around us. So now we understand that love is self-sacrifice. It is giving of ourselves even when we don't get, seem to get anything in return. And so we initiate that love. We initiate it by inviting people into our homes, by striking up friendships, by inviting them to church, even if they don't seem to respond right away. Even though we are always seeming to be the ones getting that ball rolling, that's okay, because we are reflecting God's love to this world. We pray. Lord God, you gave me your unconditional love first through your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for continuing to love me even when I don't always love you. Help me with your Spirit to love others in the same sacrificial way that you love. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you again for joining me. And may God bless you richly as he reaches out to love you and love others through you.